It's midday and refugees at the Budumbram camp are going about their usual activities, but not without fear. When you are on the camp, you are not safe. Because of fear, since I entered this country, 2001, December 16, I have never did anything contrary to the law. Since the demolish of the camp is not easy, so it's very, very difficult. So we are just waiting for them because they say from now to January the 1st, the 3rd or the 1st, I don't know. Since that time to present, we are still having fear. As of now, we don't know should the camp be demolished, where we'll be. We were also having expectation from the government of Ghana, as well for those who out of integration, that will be despised to various communities when the time and the uh, approach. According to them, on September 30, none of their members moved out of camp. Those who left were Ghanaians living there. No refugees, I may say, they were the people packing out and so and so forth. But since the refugees don't have a place to go, they have to go back. We continue talking to them, you know, we have to cancel a lot of them. For the foreign nationals, life after the September 30 deadline has been eventful. When I walk around the camp, uh, about three of them lost their life because of thinking. We have about uh, four or six of them have stroke. Because we have elderly here, we have a lot of sick people in the camp. Some say if given the chance, they will return home. But for others, it is simply impossible. I'm tired with our life. I don't wish to be ref refugee throughout my life. I have to get back home. So for me, I don't have a problem with it. Even if they say today, that's it. People are traumatized because the money is not there. You don't know where you are started, you don't know where you are ending. Only God. So we're just asking God to find good solution for me. So they will bring repatriation, we have to go home. There is no job, even sometimes to have one city is not easy. So I plan to go back home because there is nowhere like home. I flew the country because of the civil war. My parents brought me to Ghana and now they are all there. So what you think I'm going to start from ever go back to Liberia? Manager at the camp, Arnold Obidie, says a delegation from Liberia was in Ghana to dialogue on the matter and appealed to authorities in charge to give the refugees more time. He added that a refugee board would need more time to facilitate their repatriation. To facilitate them to go back home is a big burden on them. The situation in Liberia is not easy. Sending refugees back home, it need a lot of funds because we have to get a place for them, reception center back home. We have to get food, water, transportation. A lot of them are a school going age and they are about to write exam too. So we are appealing. The Gumwa East District Chief Executive, however, declined to speak on the matter. After the failed attempt by the Gumwa East District Assembly to demolish the camp here in Budumburam, residents say they are in a limbo right now. And the question many of them ask is, where exactly would they go if the camp is finally demolished. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Budumburang Camp.